Welcome to a video by Datum Systems International. Today we will learn about surface volume calculation in our MicroStation Capture and Map Editor products, which are part of Datum's Photogrammetric Suite. Our ME Volume Overview will include a demonstration of what the tools do, how they can be run either interactively or in batch. We'll look at our various output options along with other configuration settings and wrap up with a discussion of known limitations and areas where we're working to improve our product set. So let's see ME volume in action. Here we have a, a pile. You can see that the surface of the pile is identified by a series of green brake lines. The base of the pile is defined by a single white bounding base element. And let's run ME volume on this pile. To begin, we'll need to define our surface elements. And we'll do that by class. Since all of our surface elements have the same level and symbology, we'll just pick one of those. And we've defined our class. We'll pick our base element. We only have one of those, so we can do that by element. Hit OK. And there we have our surface volume. You can see that we have several options for outputting our results. In this case, we wrote the, the volumes to our design file as a text element. If you check the report box, it'll output your results to an external ASCII file. And that's what that looks like. In either case, we have some formatting options available. Interactively, you can set your output format uh, by pushing the Text Options button and set up how you'd like your results formatted. Alternately, if you're running in batch mode through the map editor, you can set up your text settings and use the same settings for your entire batch file. We're setting up different piles. We can use different operating parameters uh, for running. And we can use different text settings within the parameter file if we'd like. If we'd like to format a pile a little bit differently, we can do that too. save that file, or we could run it right now if we wanted to. But first I want to discuss some of the other options. The Densify option is used for the surface triangulation and for the base triangulation. And that Densify option controls the, the size of the triangles. So it gives you a finer or a greater resolution. So here we have a pile with a normal default densification. No parameters are set here. And here we've used the Densify option to get a finer granulation. Another parameter that's available is the Weeding option. Here's Again, here's our default uh, triangulation. You can see some of our triangles uh, have fallen outside the pile boundaries. We use the weed option. Here you can see these triangles without the weed option, and then you apply the weed option, and you can see that it's trimmed back. 
Datum is always working to improve our software. Here are some of the limitations in the ME Volume tool that we're beginning to revisit. The current MicroStation version requires a bounding surface element around each of the piles. In this example we just ran, you can see that this element right here is our, our bounding surface element. And that's used for the, the weeding. Only our AutoCAD version currently accepts external DTM files. You can use points and cells. But those actually have to be within the design file. With the AutoCAD version, you can actually reference external, for example, LiDAR files and use the information from those. That's not currently available in MicroStation. Only MicroStation currently accepts co very complicated base surfaces. For example, it'll, you can set up your base as a series of shells defined by break lines. And um, as we've seen with the densify and the, the weeding, uh, certain parameters need to be manually tuned. And to assist with this, graphical diagnostics have been added to the interactive crustacean software to help tune those parameters. What we're working for uh, toward for future releases, uh, we're looking into automated surface edge detection to eliminate that requirement for the bounding surface element. We're also evaluating improved triangulation by replacing those manual densification surface parameters uh, with automatically generated Steiner points. We're adding support for external DTM files in the MicroStation version of ME Volume, and again, that's currently available in the AutoCAD version. And we're looking to additional options like cut and, cut and fill options. That concludes our video about ME Volume. Thank you for watching. You can find more videos on our website at datum.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at datum.com or through the contact information on the screen. We post lots of great tips and updates on our social sites, so if you do not follow us, please do. We also have a newsletter, Control Points, which comes out once a month. When you sign up, you'll be the first to learn about our software updates and gain immediate access to our latest videos. You can sign up for control points at datum.com control points. Thanks again for joining us.